Hey guys, it's been a long time since my last video here on this channel. I'm not going to go into all the reasons why here. Let's just say that, you know, life has a way of punching you in the gut sometimes. And But that's not why you're here. You're here because this is the follow-up video to the gasket test, the 3D printed gasket test. So let's quickly recap the story up to this point. So last year I printed three gaskets for my old Craftsman mower out of the TPU or TPU 95A specifically. I also did a series of experimental tests, all of those documented in a series of videos which you can find in a playlist somewhere here. And the point of these tests was to push the material to its limits and uh, also to see in the real world whether or not uh, this material is going to make a good gasket. I think I came up with some decent data, uh, not anything scientifically conclusive or anything, that wasn't the point. I think my test did show that the filament was very durable. So the point of this exercise was threefold. One, determine whether TPU was viable as a gasket material. Two, determine whether it would fail over time. And three, determine whether it was reusable like a rubber gasket, for instance. My original plan was to give that six months. Uh, on the test machine and uh, turned into a year obviously so we got even you know what do you want to call it more conclusive I don't know so the test subject was like I said an old Craftsman mower I used it uh, regularly last year um, you know it's it's Georgia weather so sometimes you use it once a week sometimes you use it bi-weekly sometimes you use it once a month in the in the fall it got its normal use of, of a year of mowing the lawn, basically. Also, the machine is stored outside, though it is under cover. Uh, it doesn't get rained on directly or anything like that, but it is outside. So it's subject to all the, the uh, temperature differences and whatnot you got in Georgia weather. You know, just typical use case for, you know, Southeast states. Now, before I, before I get into the actual gaskets, let me just address some things up front for the trolls, I mean concerned individuals out there. Firstly, this is not meant as a replacement for traditional gaskets. It's an alternative. It's another tool in the toolbox. Secondly, yes, you can use things like a Cree cut machine to cut gaskets out of any material you want, basically, or you can use a 3D printer to print in, in a different plastic, like a normal PLA or something, a mold that you can then use to create, uh, for instance, a silicone, a silicone gasket, which uh, will uh, be better for higher heat than TPU, obviously. Those Now, those are also other tools in the toolbox, for instance. For two of these gaskets that I printed, um, that process would work fine. For the third gasket, it would be impossible to do it on a Cree-cut machine. And uh, in my opinion, a uh, doing a mold of it is just an unnecessary second step. Third concern is this get, will not work in all situations. You're not going to use it to make uh, steam pipe gaskets or exhaust flanges. Uh, anything over 90 C, forget about it. All right, now I'm sorry to have to put all that in the beginning, but if you've looked at the comments in the other videos, and probably gonna be the comments in this video, uh, you'll see why I have to answer those questions. And by the way, spoiler alert, two of the tests I did, two of the three tests were a complete success, and the third one was only partly successful because of user error, and I'll get into that in a minute. So all of that out of the way, let's talk about TPU and fuel. There was a lot of speculation that TPU wouldn't hold up to fuel over long term. Uh, this piece of TPU was in this bottle with uh, gasoline, petrol, fuel, whatever you want to call it, uh, over the same time period as the, as the gaskets were on the machine. And as you can see, there is absolutely nothing wrong, it, wrong with it. If I were to nitpick, I were to say that maybe it absorbed a little bit of the fuel which has expanded the gasket a little bit, but it is not degrading and it didn't melt, you know, it's, it's fine. I'll actually, I'll actually leave that in there and maybe in another year I'll come back to it and see if it's, if it's any worse after two years. Now the gaskets. The carburetor gasket is fine, no issues. Now note here that the intake here is also plastic. It's probably B ABS, it's probably BS, it's probably ABS, so, you know, it's never going to get to that 90 degree temp because the ABS would start melting at that point. And the fuel and air flow has, has not degraded the edges of the gasket in any way that was unlike any other gasket you would put in there. You know, if you put a paper gasket in there, 
first of all, it wouldn't be reusable, and secondly, it would show the same sorts of sorts of wear. So this is my new go-to for carb gaskets. I'm, I'm you know, I, I can't think off the top of my head any situation where this wouldn't work as a carb gasket. You know, carbs just don't get close enough to that 90 degree. They just don't. It, it, just by their nature, they just, even though they're sitting on top of an engine or beside an engine or whatever, uh, they just don't normally get to that 90 degree uh, C, 90 degree Celsius point. So uh, I just can't think of a re uh, any situation where it would not work as a carb gasket. Next, I did a valve cover gasket. This was the one I felt what had the most chance of failing because of the heat, especially in this case because it was really near the exhaust system, um, and it did not fail uh, in that it never leaked. Uh, but in my opinion, it failed the re at least the reusability factor because of something I tried when printing it. This was the user error I was mentioning. I should have printed it solid and not messed around trying to make it softer. I am going to print another one at 100% infill and try this test again. But again, it did not fail on the machine. It only failed what I would consider being reusable because you see that it tore out around the edges and some places and um, it, it compressed too much, I would, I'd have to say. It's, it's permanently deformed. Now, I will say that after taking it off, I did put it back on just as it is just to see if it would leak, even though I do not plan on keeping this on the mower because I consider it a failure. But um, it didn't leak even after I put it back on, you know. So it's still functionally working, but um, not, not, to the, not to the degree that I would consider a success. And next we have what I would consider maybe the coolest use, which is a fuel gasket. This, I think, may be the best use case for 3D printed gaskets. It's not gonna get hot, but it is in contact with fuel and fuel vapor. It has to seal, but the way this gasket is designed, it also has to vent. And it vents because it has sort of a built-in valve that was designed by the company that made the cap. I replicated that, and this one took the most time on CAD, maybe two hours of CAD time, um, but it could not be done on a pre-cut machine at all. It, it's, it's 3D, you can't cut 3D on it on a Cree cup machine. And like I said earlier, making a mold of this and, and then and doing it out of silicone is, is just unnecessary. It doesn't need to be a silicone gasket. As long as it holds up to fuel and does not degrade, um, it's a perfectly fine, uh, usable, functional, reusable gasket. I will say that this one has performed flawlessly. No problems whatsoever. Even a year later, it's still breathing fine, as you can see. Absolutely no issues whatsoever. So there you go. If you have any questions or concerns, please leave them below. I, you know, despite what I said earlier, I love to respond and have arguments with people. Feel free to say, you know, anything you want about the tests or conclusions, but uh, I realize I'm, I might not respond if I've already responded to, to your specific concerns in the comments over and over again. You know, our time here on this planet is just too short to keep repeating myself over and over. Thanks for watching, guys.